What's up, Wolfpack? So, real quick, I want to do a real quick intro for y'all because we got to head to the airport. We are going to Wisconsin. We have Stacy's cousin that's getting married, and they're actually experiencing a snowstorm right now. And so it's going to be freezing cold. This will be the most snow that we have ever seen. And I wanted to take y'all with us. We're going to be skiing, tubing, doing snowmobiles. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be a lot of fun. So let's go. Who's ready to see snow? Me! Are y'all going snowmobiling? Yeah! Skiing? Yeah! Tubing? Yeah! Dude, they're having a snowstorm right now. As most of you know, traveling can be pretty crazy sometimes, especially with kids. Carrying all that luggage, going through security, renting a vehicle, then them giving you the wrong vehicle and it's like 10 degrees outside. It just gets overwhelming at times. And for some people, it gets the best. Oh, no. There we go. Okay. So we got to go back in. <sighs> Don't film me, Corey. <laughs> So the ride from the airport to our hotel was about two hours. So we stopped at this Olive Garden, and this was the boys' first time touching the snow. Dude, you're gonna be you're gonna be freezing when you get in the car. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. my hand just sunk in it. I just sunk. Don't y'all worry. Look at them. <laughs> y'all eating Walmart snow? Yeah, we're eating Walmart snow. That's nasty. Look at them. Get ready. Dude, I can't push this. So the next morning we woke up to the beginning of what they call a snowstorm. In the silence of the night when the snow lies soft and still. So this was our first time driving through the town and I immediately thought of the set of Steven Spielberg's movie, The Gremlins. Check out the comparison to these two towns. Fun fact, the Gremlins movie and Back to the Future were shot on the same set. It's not an actual town. It is Universal Studios back lot. We're gonna jump in the snow and then jump back in the pool. All right. Today is the day of the wedding, fixing to get ready. And then we're gonna drive through the snow and we're gonna get to this church. Hi. And then we got the reception after that. So we think the wedding, the, the church is about 20 minutes away. So we'll see how the driving goes. We're not sure if the roads are plowed yet or not. We're not sure if we gotta wear snow boots to the wedding or not. So we're still trying to figure out how all this works, but. We might be sliding across the road. <laughs> All right, Kate and Kyle, show them your outfit. Right before the wedding. <laughs> right before the wedding. Oh dear. What a Bruh. Bruh. 
Okay. Oh, put her in there. Put that in there. Let me see your, let me see the toothy. All right, so now we're loading up all the vehicles and we are about to head to the wedding. And uh, it just started snowing. So this is gonna be really interesting. Little thing that has led us here today. She was not one for the bar. We only lived mere miles apart. More like a second chance away. Yet both loved and lost And we'd both been on first dates But this one was different And now I say I saw fireworks That day Fireworks for the second time in two days. Inside the church, look how cool that looks. When the snow lies. Hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> Alright y'all, so today is our last day. We're going to be heading over to Stacy's uncle's house. And this is where we're going to be doing a lot of snowmobiling and uh, sledding. So it's going to be a lot of fun today. Just going to be extremely cold. This is the coldest day we've had so far. As you, as you can tell, it's three degrees right now. And the temperature is going to keep dropping even tomorrow. So I'm going to take y'all with us today on the snowmobiles. The kids are going to have a lot of fun. Just kidding, none of those clips were us. But that would have been pretty awesome though if we saw a grizzly bear while on the snowmobile. But I couldn't get snowmobile footage just because it was way too cold, those things are way too fast. And that would have been dangerous to try to film while on the snowmobile. So we didn't get it, but the kids had a blast, I had a blast. Wisconsin was a lot of fun and we are now back in Florida where it is warm. So if y'all want your very own Wolfpack merch, go to the hallfamilystore.com. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe on this channel and we got werewolf sneak attack 36 coming up on the wolfpack channel so get ready for that y'all have a great weekend bye y'all